That's the sound that's going to be heard when the Lord Jesus returns to get his church. He said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am there you may be also. The Bible tells us this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together <clears throat> with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. I love this passage of scripture. It is given to us to comfort one another, to remind one another that the Lord Jesus Christ is going to return to get his church. He's gonna come get those of us who are alive and he's gonna bring those with him that have already gone to be with him. And at that moment in time, just that fast, the Bible says it like this, 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. God is going to bring with him those saints, your, your grandparents, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your aunts, your cousins, your friends, your loved ones that have already passed away and sleep in Jesus. That means believers that have gone on to be with Jesus. He's going to bring them with him into the clouds. He's going to give the, the, the voice of the archangel, the trump of God, and there's gonna be a great shout and all of their bodies are going to be resurrected from the grave. And then those of us who are alive and remain, we're going to be caught up to meet with the Lord in the air. And as we're caught up, we're going to be changed because this mortal has got to put on immortality. Now, this is a miraculous thing that the Lord is going to do. And he's going to do it when his time is right, when he is ready to come and receive his church to himself. We call this the rapture of the church. And, and we can see it very plainly here laid out for us. This is our blessed hope. This is what we are looking forward to. This is what we are expecting, that someday the Lord's gonna come get us and he's gonna take us to be with him. And it says there, <clears throat> they, then which, the, which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. There's never gonna be a time from that point in time on that we're not able to be with the Lord. And it tells us there in that last verse, verse 18, wherefore comfort one another with these words. I just wanna encourage you today. Uh, Christians, we, we don't live life ignoring the world around us. No, we love our neighbors ourselves. We, we love our, even our enemies. We work hard in this life. We, we love hard in this life. We pray hard in this life. We live for Jesus. For me to live is Christ, Paul said, and to die is gain. Why is it to die is gain? Because you get to go be with the Lord. So I just want to encourage you today. Be listening for that trumpet. The Lord can return at any time. I don't know when it's going to be, but I know that I am excited about it and I'm ready. And I hope that you're ready as well. You need to believe. That's what it says. <clears throat> For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. I hope you put your faith in Jesus today and trust him for your eternity. God bless you. Have a great day.